What is up guys? McDouble's back again with a brand new video and today I've got Craig for you on a Tinker character on the Conquest of Azeroth Alpha. So, I hope you guys enjoy a Tinker in World of Warcraft. Finally, let's jump right in. Alright guys, so we're in game and the first thing you probably are noticing is uh, some pretty peculiar custom UI. And this is supposed to be, from what I can gather, my ammunition with the Tinker class. We're playing a gnome, obviously, why else would we play anything else, right? Um, as a Tinker, uh, because that is the, uh, the Tinker race, in my opinion, that and goblins, but that's unplayable right now. So here's what we've got. So far I've got one skill tree that I'm getting all of my starter abilities from. And we have the following things, Black Powder Shot fires your currently activated gun, consumes one ammunition, reload, generates four standard ammunition, can be cast while moving, and rifle, you equip your rifle, which is a basic gun. Whenever you equip a new weapon, you automatically cast reload one time. Your maximum ammunition is eight. So I'm not really sure if rifle needs to be used more than like once. I could probably imagine me having more than one type of ability like this though, and that might be where this comes into play. So the way this is gonna work is I have reload, but I'm already full on ammo, and now what I can do is fire my black powder shot using energy with the Tinker class, okay, to consume one ammunition on this ragged young wolf. Let's see. <laughs> oh yes, dude, that is sick. And you just keep spamming it, right? So the idea is I'm black powder shooting. I can reload to get more ammo, and I just keep going. And it's spammable as long as you can maintain the reload and have the energy, right? So that's very, very fascinating. I'm curious what abilities I'm going to get. I know you do actually get a turret, which is something everybody wants from a Tinker class, right? Like a Heimerdinger turret from League of Legends, for example. You do get that, and you can place multiple turrets down. I've seen them in BGs on my Necromancer. I've seen them in BGs on another character I'm playing on the side that you guys will see as well from the Alpha. And I really want to see, you know, how good is it? Now, based on this up here, it says damage based on the Tinker's agility for standard ammunition. Or at the very minimum, they take bonus damage based on that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go with agility as my primary stat. Obviously, this gives me damage, crit, and ranged attack power specifically. So that's quite good. It's also important to keep in mind that we're using an old blunderbuss, right? So we are using a gun, but we started with a one-handed mace. I guess that's supposed to be like a wrench, if you think about it, like a hammer, like a workman's hammer, like a hammer you would have in your house right now. Because I know that it exists in WoW as like a very simple model. That would be pretty sick, not gonna lie. So you can basically reload at any time. So I can just always be stocked up with ammunition. And it looks like there's an animation when you reach max. Yeah, so I, if I keep doing it, I'm getting no extra ammo, obviously, because I'm at my max of eight. But it does show a pretty cute little custom animation right there. And the damage is good. 17, 16, 16, it dies. Three shots. And yeah, it really is as fast as I can uh, press it with my fingers at the very minimum, of course, needing the energy for it. But it just keep. Oh, okay. I ran out of ammunition right there. And there we go. Nice. So in the Conquest of Azeroth Closed Alpha, you get abilities in the complete opposite way that you would normally get them in a World of Warcraft playthrough. Typically, you get them at like level 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Ooh, you can use up to mail with a Tinker. That's very interesting. I can use all cloth, leather, and mail. Nice. But in the Conquest of Azeroth Alpha, you get abilities at level 4, 7, 10, 13, etc. So it's every odd number, it seems, as opposed to every even. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just farm up to level 4, and we'll see what our very first ability is with the Tinker class. By the way, one thing I'm noticing, there's no auto-shoot for the Tinker, and that seems to be intended, I guess, because we're so spammy. But no auto-shoot, so in other words, if I right-click this trog, I'm not shooting like a hunter would right now. But, with that in mind, Tinker seems to be highly mobile as well, which is interesting. I can just run around and spam cast Black Powder Shot to my heart's content. There we go, guys. Level 4. Let's see. We got Sticky Bomb. And the invention tree. So Sticky Bomb throws a bomb that sticks to the enemy for three seconds. At the end of the duration, the bomb will explode, dealing uh, decent looking fire damage to all enemies within eight yards. I'm curious. Take a Sticky Bomb. And... Okay, half its health, just like that. And it's AoE. That's going to be really, really good. Now, what does it cost? No ammunition. It's just instant 15 energy and a 10-second uh, cooldown. 30-yard range. Wow. So I got to say, I'm pretty intrigued by the Tinker so far. No auto attack, as I said before. You control your auto attacks, functionally speaking, because you're just clicking W in my case, or maybe 1 or something in your case, depending on how your keybinds are set up, and just kind of spamming it. But you can't truly spam it, it seems, because as you get more abilities, you need to play it safe with that energy so that you have energy to use things like Sticky Bomb 
bomb. So if I sticky bomb and pull a bunch of stuff, wh why are you running that way? Why did he just run over there? Okay, let's try that though. I'm gonna pull a bunch of these boars and just sticky bomb. So let's uh, reload, get my ammunition back up. Very quick, very easy. Black powder shot some boars. All right, sticky bomb. Just kind of black powder shot the high HP ones. Nice, dude. That is sick. So one thing I do know, and uh, something you may have seen in my Necromancer playthrough, is that, you know, the Tinker has a lot of massive, massive explosions. Again, class fantasy seems to be the main aim of Conquest of Azeroth. You know, is there something that was in the lore of WoW that you never got to play but always wished was in the game? Or that perhaps they didn't do the best job on, in your opinion? I'm looking at you demon hunters right now. Well, if that's the case, you can play it on Conquest of Azeroth. That's the point. I've always wanted to play a Tinker. I wanted to play a Necromancer, right? I'm looking to play a Witch Doctor. I mean, I cannot wait to play a lot of these classes. These are things that should have always been in WoW, and it really is kind of disappointing that what you could literally say is a small indie company in its own way is so disgustingly, in a way, right? Overpowering Blizzard which is a multi-million, should I say billion? I'm not honestly sure, but just like a rich-ass company, man, that should have the resources to outcompete these people, and they simply have never been able to. I don't know if it's a lack of creative drive or what, but uh, when you see stuff like this, it really does make you give Blizzard a double take. Like, what are you doing? Really, what are you doing? And honestly, I want to see what Blizzard does. You know, Project Ascension's always been small and under the radar. And I'm curious, is Blizzard going to go the Nostalrius route and, uh, you know, ruin their reputation even more so that everybody quits and plays New World? Because I'm prepared. I will gladly quit WoW forever and play New World if that is, uh, you know, the route that Blizzard wants to go, right? Or would they do something crazy? Like, who knows, maybe employ the Conquest of Azeroth Project Ascension team and have them, uh design something truly good rather than the garbage that Blizzard's been dishing out to us. Look at this, dude! It's just so good and satisfying! I don't even have my turret yet. I'm sorry to go off topic, but it is something I've seen in the comment sections and I'm just very curious, like what is going to happen? So what I will say so far about the Tinker, although I am low level, but what they're trying to do by the way, and this is why this is important, remember the max level is 30 and it's not 30 because they don't have any content past 30, they have all of it up to 60. If the max level is 30 so that we can test the low level experience and start tuning and balancing things and seeing how stuff feels. So in other words, what they're trying to do is give you a genuine feel for how this uh, class should play at a really low Low level which is just good design what i'm seeing so far is an incredibly fast paced class right with a lot of boom <laughs> like a lot of well as you can see boom right like a lot of it and it's good it feels incredible i don't think this is for you if you don't like clicking your keybinds a lot but someone like me this is amazing i like to be fast paced i like uh you know to never run out of my resources unless i play badly i'm not a huge fan of mana there have been times in wow's history where it really didn't matter how you played you were gonna go out of mana let's say a classic wow elemental shaman phase one, two, like you're just screwed, right? Some people say, well, it's just the class. You know, you should be okay with that. I say it's bad design and we shouldn't make excuses. This is not that. This is actually the complete opposite. I mean, look, let's kill Grick near the cold, dead. I'm not gonna die, right? I gotta reload. I'm out of energy. Yes, get fucked. <laughs> oh yes. All right, let's kill this guy. Shoot, shoot. Oh my god, I, I lived with one health. The Tinker, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Okay, that was satisfying. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like that wasn't satisfying. I'm really having a lot of fun with this right now. All right, let's uh, keep on leveling. At level 7 will be uh, the next time that we get a new ability. I'm curious to see what it is. So I'm looking at the ability trees right now that they've given us just to see what's going on. Remember, we have firearms, which we've already looked at. We have now invention, which is probably where creating a turret's going to go. But we also have mechanics. Maybe that's actually where the turret comes from. I wonder what that's going to be about. I mean, I can click it and look. We can build a bruiser bot. Okay, build sentry turret. Mech suit mechanic. Every two seconds, you generate a stack of mech suit capacity, representing the current hit point percentage of your mech suit. At any time, you can use a mech suit ability to enter the suit consuming your mech suit capacity step my god that's comp what is going on man like it's cool i get to be in a mech suit but what is going on oh well, yeah okay mechanics is where you're building stuff basically building a uh, a bruiser bot supercharging your bruiser bot or your strider bot healing okay so the tinker can heal so you can build so many interesting things well, then what is invention electroshock sapper charge 
remote detonation <laughs> uh like being techies from dota nanobots okay send your nanobots to a target enemy dealing six to seven arcane damage every second for 30 nanobots can only be sent to one target at a time rocket rider you jump on top of a rocket that increases your movement speed by 100 percent for three and a half seconds that's cool, right? That's really cool. I'm trying not to like super spoil things that I can't even play because remember the cap is 30, but that's pretty cool. Firearms then, gunsling, ammo clip, mech lord, barrage. Okay, we've seen an, an ability like barrage before with hunters. Bomb launcher. There's a lot of really cool stuff, guys. And there we go, level seven. Let's see what we got. Gunsling fires a gunshot dealing ranged weapon damage plus 10 to 12 and generates 25 energy. Okay, it doesn't consume ammunition. So really this is just something you spam on cooldown to regenerate energy, right? As long as you're not energy capped, this is correct. But let's see, spent some energy, gunsling, full energy, just like that. Okay, that's not bad. Got to go ahead and uh, reload a bit. It's actually really, really good. All right, I'm in a group now with what seems to be a witch hunter, a guardian, and a ranger. Let's go ahead and get this quest done faster as a result. I'm just going to literally pull everything and sticky bomb. Look, here we go. See ya. <laughs> yes, that is so satisfying. That is so satisfying. How do they just have to know, man? Like, I... <laughs> Anybody could be Craig, dude. There's multiple Craigs in the world. I'm not the only one. Okay, it's fine. Honestly, like this was one of my less ambiguous names. <laughs> um, I didn't do the best with this one, but it's not McDoubles, right? And that's the best because people are still going to question this. They're not going to know for sure. I'm going to get normal interactions. It's just better, dude. It's just better in every way. Such a fast play style. Gunpowder shot like crazy and everything's just dead. I want to see how things scale because I haven't gotten a new gun yet. What I will say is I'm killing things and leveling pretty fast compared to my Necro. I still kind of wish they would just do 2x race just for the alpha so you would level two times faster uh, because it's such a low level right now, especially when the level cap increases though. Um, I don't know about you guys, but you know, I think we all have the brain capacity to be able to test these things um, without having to level at a snail's pace the way we would all want to when the game actually comes out and we're trying to immerse ourselves. You know, all these characters get deleted and stuff so i've just never understood what the point is and caring about you know 1x rates there is no special testing to be done that you couldn't also acquire from leveling slightly faster right now and it's actually even more important because there are 21 classes and unless you expect people to play day in day out the way i can um it's going to be very difficult for people who get into the alpha to test multiple classes in totality which is going to lead to less balance because a small group of people who play each class are going to basically totally control the balance of that class because They'll be able to put in the time i don't like that personally that's just me though i'm not gonna harp on it any further it's just like common sense to me but i have noticed people will get so so mad so one thing i've noticed about my new abilities like gunsling is that uh well first and foremost take a look it does more damage than my standard black powder shot. But another thing I noticed about the sticky bomb is that watch, as I'm casting the black powder shot, you'll notice that the sticky bomb is not on the GCD. That's actually very, very useful, especially and obviously for PvP. Okay, level 10, this is it. Build sentry turret, man. All right, let's read it. You build a sentry turret that will shoot bullets at enemies. Sentry turrets obviously can't move, last two minutes, 40 second cooldown. What this literally means is I can have up to two, at least with this one ability, right? Because by then, well, I could technically have three, but I won't have three for long, right? Okay, let's give it a try. All right, so what I'm going to do is start building turrets on this hill, and we're going to try to slaughter this entire pack of wolves, okay? So I'm going to have about a 20 second window to start attacking uh, because my very first turret will only have 20 seconds after the third one goes down before it disappears. We'll see if maybe we can get rid of the whole wolf pack without having any issues, right? I'm just going to primarily kite them uh, by just running around and letting my turrets do all the damage. But if it looks like I'm dying, I'll throw out the sticky bomb and start playing. Again, we're testing turret damage right now. One thing I am noticing though, and one thing I did hear about but didn't see yet in BGs, is that uh, Tinkers are going to make for a very good defensive class, like let's say in Warsong Gulch. And it won't even feel bad because you just put your turrets up in key locations and just defend the whole place, right? But they need to be strong and not easily killable. These are at 227 health. That's about what I have. So if you think about it, that's exactly where these need to be. 
for a tinker class at least that's where they need to be high health right they shouldn't be easily killable or else there's no point i mean there's a fine line for balance right because if they're not easily killable and they're overpowered then it's just not fun but you know that's the whole point of testing right okay i have three seconds let's build it okay i've got three up here okay they're already shooting come on yes <laughs> Kill him! Kill him! Oh my god, I can just run in a circle while they shoot them all dead. Now just- just imagine I actually played my class at the same time. You are unkillable. This is a farming class. Imagine you're farming elites with this. You just like take the time to do- I mean you have a 20 second window unless a talent comes out or something that increases the duration of it. But you have like a 20 second window before one of these goes away. See, like it just did. But honestly, by the time it goes away, as you can see, the cooldown comes back up and you just place another one. And then you have another 20-ish second window. But this is broken. And I mean, it's not really broken, but it's really good. Now it could be broken against players. We'll have to find out. Although if it hits for 40, it's going to hit for about half that on these servers against players. Three turrets hitting for 60, that's pretty good. But it's not crazy considering how long it took you to make that happen, you know what I mean? Like you're not just running down the mid. Wow, that was awful every time. You're not just running down mid in Warsong Gulch, for example, and just like placing all three turrets and dominating. It takes some setup, it takes some time. That in and of itself is inherently going to make it more uh, balanced than it would have been otherwise. All right, you're all dead. See ya. A lot of you guys are saying, why are you not looting? It's because it's alpha, okay? I don't loot when it doesn't matter because I like to go fast. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the uh, sentry turret though. I'm curious because I think it's really good in its current iteration. I'm not talking about if it's overpowered or not. I'm talking about just design, but I'd like to hear what you guys think, right? Level 10 means uh, three more levels until we get a new ability. Let's go ahead and test it out. How did I just happen to get three small green pouches? Why not red, blue, or even a brown one? Think about it. What are the odds? Okay, I'm in Warsong Gulch, level 11. Currently, the goal is to just build turrets and defend the flag. I've noticed for the sake of the pet AI, it's actually better to just stack your turrets. You have a higher chance of them all actually attacking the target you want them to attack at the precise moment you want them to attack them. Whereas if I have one turret over there and one turret over there and one turret over there, it's much less likely they're going to hit the target that I want them to hit. So I'm just going to put them kind of in the middle of the room and see what happens once people come. Here they come. All right, take a sticky bomb. Kill them. Come on. Oh man, I actually ran out of ammo. I've got to be a little bit more mindful of that. Jesus, I couldn't hurt this guy. He's max level for the bracket, just to be completely fair. Oh my God, really? Oh no. Well, that didn't work. This dude has serpent wards, man, just like Warcraft 3. It has more health than my turrets do. I have not seen the serpent ward yet. That's the first time. God, I actually want to go up close and see it. Oh, it even sounds like it, man. That's just glorious. The witch doctor. I wonder how the turrets scale. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I have nothing else to train. I thought maybe I was messing up and I needed to train my skills, but there's literally nothing yet. It doesn't tell you. I think I need more info on the abilities. That would be nice because it doesn't tell you how the sentry turret scales. Is it off my weapon damage? Is it a set amount every time and you can't really make it better? I, I really need to know. Any tinker would need to know that. Yeah, I asked in world chat and no one said anything. So I'm just going to assume nobody knows how sentry turrets scale. At least nobody that's online right now i kind of hate the shadows like everything's too dark look at this suddenly things are brighter and more cheerful i think i'm just not gonna use them just as a side note okay three turrets up we are ready to defend i just got to keep them all up now consistently all right make sure we're fully loaded and ready to go oh geez just gonna start on him now he blocked my gun oh my god that's a tank what the hell that was a guardian tank jesus christ wow that was absurd damage that shouldn't have been possible man okay right now with no way to slow or stun my target the turrets don't have any time to attack them before they run away i'm sure something will happen to change that as i get higher level but right now it's just not feasible to expect them to uh you know adequately defend a flag room right maybe eventually you'll have like a frozen turret that shoots ice balls or something or maybe i'll just end up getting a slow right here's that brown guy that was just dominating he's just globaling my teammate right now okay we got him we got we didn't actually get him the ranger got him but hey i'll take it right one thing i've noticed the monks have five what looks to be focus which is really interesting and he keeps making me run fast I might actually cap. Who would have thought that the Tinker would be the one to cap? There we go. So overall, I'll say the turrets really don't do good damage or are good in general in PvP right now, but that's subject to change based on design and future abilities. All right, let's 1v1 this Reaper. First of all, I don't want him to touch me. Got to keep my ammo up. Turret's not attacking. I'm probably out of range. Yeah, he knows. He's running away from it. He literally knows. He 
has first aid. <laughs> what? I'm a sticky bomb. Okay, he's dead. See ya. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Again, equal gear. It looks like the Tinker can win, and I like that. It still doesn't change what I think about the turrets because with a speed boost or just like a little bit of LOSing, with no slower stun, there's not much you can do to keep people in turret range. As you saw from that fight, my turret did literally nothing. But with enough slows and enough people to help you keep people in the room, the turrets would actually be incredibly good. We've just got to get there. We've got to find that, that situation, right? Level 12. Okay, guys, one more level and we get a brand new ability. And then keep in mind, we'll be able to do some dungeons soon. And I do think, just like the Necromancer, which has summons, that the Tinker's Sentry turrets are going to do pretty decent. If, and just like my necro, only if we can do big massive pulls all at once and not everything dies super quick, right? Otherwise, they're going to be completely useless. But the sticky bomb will still be nice. Hey, another flag cap, another win. That's level 13, guys. Let's see what we got. All right, looks like it's an invention ability. Sapper charge. 15 energy, 30 second range. Crazy, crazy range. Okay, 45 yards. You attach a sapper charge to an enemy for 10 seconds. The next time I use Gunsling on the target, my charge explodes, dealing fire damage based on how close the charge is to fading, and smaller fire damage to other enemies near the target. Okay. Okay, I get it. Let me find somebody to try this on. Okay, so Tails is being gracious and letting me test this. We'll sap her charge, and then Gunsling immediately. Okay, she absorbed all the damage. It wasn't even very good. Now, we'll wait 9 seconds and see. Okay, let's try. Sap recharge. Now we'll just wait. You can see it's ticking. It's getting higher. So when we're at 1 second, I'm gonna gunsling her. Now. Damn, she absorbed all of the damage. Oh, this guy has Mind Guard. I need to look at his mana. Let's try again. He takes damage by draining his mana first, not his health. Alright, let's see. I only did like 100 damage from what I can see, and it did, uh, you know, about 40 or 35 to the runic familiar next to him. All right, he wants to do a real duel. All right, let's do it. Sapper charge on this guy. So I have a reason to save. Oh my god, he got wrecked! He's lower level, but still, I didn't expect to do that much damage, guys. It does do a lot of damage when I wiggle you down. All right, I'm going to do a little combo. Sapper charge, gunsling at one. And we'll sticky bomb at four. Okay, so sticky bomb. Two, three, now. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be a combo right there. That is going to be a combo. So things are starting to make more sense now. You don't necessarily just gunsling on cooldown like I originally thought. It's an eight second cooldown and a sticky bomb is a 10 second cooldown. That seems to be the combo. Okay, somebody with the flag on the enemy team is just way too geared compared to me. So we're just going to sit here and wait for him and hopefully we can kill him with the turrets. Here he comes. I'm actually going to sap her charge early. There you go. It's on him. All right, turret. Oh my God. Or he just one shot me. Guardians are OP. That dude has a sword and shield. Okay, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a sword and shield DPS. I just have to play Guardian and I got you. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. You can say what you want about the level difference. One shotting is crazy no matter what. We're in the same bracket. Titanic Oath reduces all damage taken by 8%, increases block value by 20, and increases armor by 30% of your stamina. He even has Wind Guard for more magic resistance and Voodoo Alchemy on from a Witch Doctor for a reduction in the cost of abilities by 5%. He takes no damage and he deals massive damage. I think what I would rather see with the turrets is a charge system. Let's say you have three charges, you can place them all fairly quickly, but every charge incurs a cooldown before you get the next charge. To balance this, I'd give it a one minute cooldown for each charge, but you can have the option to place all three turrets down basically instantaneously. To me, that just seems better. It'll also make it more viable for PvE, because when a big pull happens, you're not just like caught out with no turrets and there's nothing you can do i mean right now you place one every 40 seconds you're not gonna make it you're not gonna have a turret for a lot of pools right Ooh, i say that but here's two all right sticky bomb i picked it up come on turrets please do damage do damage Dude, you gotta be joking. You can't even tell me after watching that the Guardian is not overpowered. Oh my goodness, I gotta play a Guardian, dude. All right, let's kill this person with the combo if we can. They're sticky bombed? Dude, I don't even need the combo. You're dead. Oh my god, look, he's stickied. He's gonna die to the sticky- Oh, he freaking healed. That would have been embarrassing. That would have been <laughs> so bad, dude. All right, now we're going at it. Oh my god, yes. Like, he's healing through it, but I- here. 
let me just play better okay are you ready here's a turret here's a sticky charge okay all right now he has both bombs it didn't actually kill him that's amazing watch this guy one shot me Look at that shit. A star caller, ladies and gentlemen. I knew it was coming because he one shot me earlier in literally one fell swoop. That guy was actually able to outheal my damage even with the combo. So that's pretty cool. All right, look at the damage. Just spamming black powder shot dead. That's good. Yeah, I just got a new gun, rough boomstick. And I also have a little Timmy's pea shooter waiting for me at 16. This is going to be massive damage. I think the damage is actually really, really good with the non-turret abilities right now for Tinker. This is literally what I've always wanted. I get into this Warsong Gulch. <laughs> There's another guy. <laughs> He's also a Tinker. Oh, here it goes. I'll finish that in a second. Basically, we have a lot of turrets. Wait, I, whoa, what the hell? All right, I need ammo. She's dead. She died to turrets. I didn't even get... Oh, God, yes. Get fucked. <laughs> Oh my god, that was actually the best thing ever. That was actually better than summoning a bunch of skellies. Which, guys, that's hard to beat. All right, we're defending. We've got turrets everywhere. Dude, just imagine you zone in. Five tinkers are on your team. Five tinkers sit in this room. No one ever can get the flag. The other five of you go on, like, a, a mission to go and get the other flag. Look at this guy. He's like incapable oh 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 no oh that's it the weakness of being a tinker is existing if anybody sees you you insta die i had to do what that dwarf was doing just hide in the other room okay he died too i'm gonna chalk that up as being entirely my fault little do those guys know i don't need turrets to beat them all right here bone daddy oh yes that will never get old guys all right sticky bomb on this person Hey, you're dead, dude. Wow. Tinker's going on O. Yeah, just wait outside with my turret, bro. Kanye West just said the Witch Hunter class is going to give him carpal tunnel. <laughs> That's how I feel about the uh, Tinker right now. Oh my god. That's an absolutely awful sign. I put a turret right there at the entrance, but I obviously can't go that way. Wow, he hit me really hard. Wow, my range is so good. Uh-oh. Oh my god! Hotflake's cataclysmic breath hits Craig for 162, 80 overkill. Oh, it did crit. Okay. It didn't look like a crit. That's still a really high crit, though. But a lot more balanced than I thought. That was still just a crit. It's fine. There's nothing to panic about, okay? It's just a crit. Although it was really cool. And it makes me want to try Pyromancer. You know, what's the fantasy for a Pyromancer? Well, you do a lot of damage with fire. Hey, it looks like they got it down pat. I need to like zoom out so much because my range is crazy. That ice smoke tinker person just really likes me. All right, Bone Daddy. I almost destroyed him. He ran behind the piece of wood, but even with half my health gone when that started, before I got on him, I almost killed him. I like the sound of that. That means that there's nuance to playing the tinker that can make you better than somebody else. That's what I want to see. I don't want classes that are so easy that anybody can become, you know, borderline pro without even really putting in that much effort. See ya, Bone Daddy! <laughs> oh, yeah, that felt good. All right, I'm going to let that guy focus on the Pyromancer. I really wanted to kill that I Smoke Tinker person, so I'm just going to kill this person. Okay. Your little turret's on me, dude. He knows. He's targeting me. That literally means he knows. Okay, this is the Pyromancer. My range is way longer than yours, dude. Good luck. It's like playing Sniper from Dota 2. Sniper plus Techies, which honestly sounds OP. Why are you eating? You know your class is range. That was a mistake. Uh-oh. It's Super Stun Girl with the massive damage. She's coming in, in melee range. Oh, see ya. All right, guys, we're in prime time right now. 1.30 US time, okay, in the afternoon. And what I've noticed is that there's a lot of people on the alpha right now and in BGs. But let's see if we can get into some bigger fights and just see how the uh, Tinker performs. All right, here's a guy. Oh, he's already dead. Is he a necro? No, he's a witch doctor. Still dead. He had no health. Let's find a fair fight. One that we don't just spam black powder shot against and still win. This is crazy! <laughs> he died! The sticky. I'm gonna let her blow up. Double kill! There we go. Double kill! <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Wow, like I got one shot. Alright, another? Oh my god, the sticky bomb is so good. Look, when they're all bunched up, look at that. Don't let this guy get away. I put a sapper charge on him. Yeah, he is, he's already dead. Wow. We dominated that team fight. That was a completely dominated team fight. I'm monkey balls. No. So glad you're gone. dude. <laughs> so glad. Okay. We won. Yes. Okay. Level 16 is huge guys. I can use little Timmy's pea shooter. Now look at the massive damage upgrade. 
we're gonna see how much damage I can do with this. We also just got a brand new ability in the invention tree. <gasps> oh yes, by the way, I got something else as well. I saw it. Look at this, pick lock. So before we look at that other one, apparently just being a tinker allows you to open locked chests and doors. Five second cast, but uh, that's pretty badass and flavorful. I mean, you are a tinker. You should be able to make a way to unlock that stuff pretty easily. But hey, look at this. Control mechanical. Take control of a mechanical creature up to your level. Last one minute. That's really never going to be useful outside of maybe running a Nomergon run, right? That could be cute. But it's hella flavorful, and that's what I want to see. That's enough for me every time. Again, fulfilling the class fantasy is all I ever wanted, right? Okay, guys, it's time. Let's go ahead and actually try control mechanical on uh, one of these harvest watchers over here. They're pretty iconic, right? I have to be here anyway, I think, so why not? All right, control mechanical. There we go. Now, what does it do? Are you going to follow me or do you just sit there? Wait, Okay, what? He doesn't follow me? Okay, what if I pull something over? Wow, you are useless. That is terrible. Okay, so I guess that's just bugged right now on the alpha. I'll give it to them. It's not that deep. It'll be fixed, I'm sure. I mean, it's just like enslaved demon or something like that, but for mechs. I think it's a pretty cool concept and I'm happy it's in the game. I love the flavor. Okay guys, let's go ahead and do the giveaway from the last video to see who gets the chest on the Alar or the main servers, right? I've already got the link put in, let's get the YouTube comments, see what we get. I'll also make sure to answer anything you may have left me if you uh, happen to win the raffle. 407 comments, and yeah, let's see who is going to be the one, and we've got Rusty90 with a wonderful picture, by the way. The Tinker looks like, wow, how is this, this is not pre-recorded. The Tinker looks like loads of fun. It's something we all wanted. Yeah. Hey. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, Rusty. If you have a character on Alar, let me know the in-game name. I'll reply to your comment now on YouTube, and we'll send the chest your way. I do just want to go ahead and show some of the things that you will get from uh, 16 to 30. I messaged another guy who played Tinker the way that I played Necro, got it to 30, and uh, yeah, he's showing me what you get. So you can equip a shotgun. This reduces the range of black powder shot by 30 yards and causes it instead to fire what they call a buck shot, dealing damage in a 12-yard cone. Okay, AoE. It also increases your crit with the uh, attack by 3%. Interesting, so you have like an AoE shot and you can switch between them. Focusing reticle, your next black powder shot within 10 seconds deals double damage! That is like sniper. That's like sniper for sure. Airstrike? Marks the target for an airstrike. After 10 seconds, they will be assaulted with rockets from the air, dealing massive fire damage to them and all enemies near them. Wow, the AoE with this class is absurd. Control mechanical, I know that. Sapper charge, deploy bomb. You deploy a bomb onto the ground. When you use remote detonation, the bomb explodes. Oh my god, more explosions, dude! Allies standing close to the bomb will be blasted away, but suffer no damage. Wow. That's some synergy right there. Depending on how far it blasts you away, it's also a complete crazy way to grief people on Eye of the Storm. <laughs> like, really bad, too. Those are some pretty badass abilities. Now, if you would like to get a chest on the Alar server, which is the main classless realms, all that you need to do is leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you want to see next. What class do you want to see next? I will say the next video is set in stone, but I will be looking at these comments for the video after that. So if you really want a particular class to be played so you can see it ASAP, let me know or like the comment of someone else who already said what you wanted and I'll be able to know right away what you guys are willing to see. Also, look out for the polls I put up as I do them a lot. Thousands of you participate and it helps me figure out what you guys want and also gives you guys and me some pretty cool knowledge along the way about what people like, what people prefer, and just anything World of Warcraft or MMO based. But okay guys, that's going to be the end of the Tinker episode. If you want to see more Tinker in the future, like the video and make sure to subscribe because we will be trying all of these classes more in depth. I'm happy with the way that I finally decided to do these videos. I talked about it with you guys in a poll and most of you want to see me level all of these characters to 30, but in the comments we figured out that it might be easier if I just give a good first look up to let's say 15 or 16, probably 16 because that's when you get an ability with all of the classes because there's 20, not 9, okay? There's 20 and then we can go back over some of the ones you liked the most later on uh, because again at this rate if I did 20 classes 1 to 30 
literally we would be out of alpha by the time I would be done. There's that many classes. So this just works best. But like I said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like and to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video with a new class. McDouble's out. Ready for action.